Hello everyone, this is Joanne Amaya Cohen and welcome to another episode of Woman Rising TV. January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month and it is amazing to me how rarely women think about their feminine health until something happens that makes them. So probably sounds familiar to you. And what's even more incredible is that most women have never seen their cervix, let alone felt it before. And when I was 22, one of my first herbal teachers gave us an assignment to go home that night and check out our cervix. She gave each of us a speculum and a mirror. And I have to say, I was intrigued by the process. I had never thought about looking at my cervix. I had never seen my cervix. I knew that it was there, but that was about it. And it was really, really incredible. And ever since then, for when I go in for my well women exams, I ask my gynecologist or midwife, whoever I'm seeing, for her to show me through a mirror my cervix. And it's incredible because it's not very often that we get to see what's actually inside of us. And so why is the cervix so important? Well, the cervix is like the gateway to the uterus. And it's also very vulnerable to sexually transmitted infections, the most popular being the human papillomavirus, HPV. About 70% of men and women are going to encounter HPV in their life. And so when you go in for a pap smear, a swab is taken of cervical cells, put under a microscope, and it's seen if there's any virus, any abnormal growth, any precancerous cells. So it's really important for the health of your cervix to get checked up. And so 80 to 90% of those cases will be healed through the body's immune system alone. That's right, without any treatment. Because it's a virus, the body goes into healing. The immune system kicks in, and there are incredible herbs that you can use to support the process. If there are abnormal results, depending on the doctor, they might suggest a LEAP procedure. And maybe you've heard of that. And oftentimes it's really unnecessary because the body can fight off the virus. If a pregnant woman has had a LEAP, she's at a higher risk for a premature cervical shortening and opening before her baby's ready to be born. And she's also susceptible to cervical scarring, which can make dilation of the cervix during labor a little bit more difficult. So the procedure is not ideal for young women who are planning to have a pregnancy. It's not ideal if you have a mild to moderate abnormal pap. It's really only ideal for the most severe abnormal pap smears. Again, the recommendation is generally to watch and wait and be retested within four to six months because the body does heal on its own. And there's an incredible company called Avena Botanicals, and they make a product called Immune Soup full of medicinal mushrooms and herbs that just are going to help the immune system to fight off a virus. And that's an incredible opportunity to support the natural healing process. An abnormal pap smear is just your body telling you that something's out of balance. And I just want to let you know that you can get an abnormal pap smear. You can show the signs of HPV up to two years after you're infected. So tell us, how do you love your cervix? Do you go for annual exams? Have you not thought about it for years? Do you schedule a pap smear for every three years? Do you go to your gynecologist or midwife every year for just a physical to make sure everything's okay? Have you had an abnormal pap smear and what have you done? Do you know that there's alternatives to LEAP procedures? We want to hear from you. We want to start the dialogue of cervical health. So let's love up our cervixes. And if you want more information on how to increase your feminine health, go to joanneameacohen.com. Sign up for my newsletters where I give tips, practices, insights to create vibrant feminine health. Here is to your cervix and amazing health.